Hi, this is Ms. Pellegrin, and today we are looking at Module 2, Lesson 3. Um, our student outcomes today is that the student is able to understand addition of integers as putting together or counting up, but for negative numbers, you're going to be count uh, counting up is actually going to be counting down. Uh, students use the arrows to show the sum of two integers, and we are going to call them P and Q, so P plus Q on the number line to show that uh, the sum is the distance. So we're going to be talking a lot about distance today, how far one um, number is from the other, how far the dis Q is from P to the right if it's positive, if Q is positive, and to the left if Q is negative, and refer back to the integer game to reinforce your understanding of addition. So we're going to start out this lesson with you playing the integer game. However, um, I'm encouraging you to try and play without the number line at this point um, and use your familiar familiarity with addition um, more than using your number line. Okay? So pause the video to play. Okay, example one, counting on to express the sum as absolute value on the number line. Okay, so you see this example in your book, and you have a few questions in your book, and so we're going to look at those questions. However, the questions... are talking about um, on a horizontal number line and on a vertical number line and so we're going to to be looking at both I have the other example here for us okay so counting up negative 4 is the same as the opposite of counting up 4 it also means counting down 4 so for ex each example above what distance between two, uh, two and the sum. So if we're looking at our examples, we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. We know that, but we're looking at the model. So we're going 2 to the right, and then we're going 4 to the right. So the sum is 4 units to the right of 2. So both of our modeling has the number 2 that it's starting with. One is showing that we're using a positive 4. We're adding 4. And here we're adding a negative 4. And so we're still going 2 to the right, but now our sum is actually 4 units to the left of negative 2. And so if we look at it in a horizontal, sorry, in a vertical number line, in our vertical number line, they're counting by twos instead of counting by ones. So we're going two units, one, two. They just don't have one labeled. So we're going two units up and then four units up. So our answer of 6, our sum is 4 units above 2, and on when we're counting down, our answer is 4 units below 2. Okay, so for each example above, what is the distance between 2 and the sum? So when we added it, it was 4 units to the right. When we subtracted, or when we had the negative 4, it was 4 units to the left. So both were 4 units. Does the sum lie to the right or the left on the horizontal number line, and then above or below on the vertical number line? So the sum when we were counting up, when we had plus 4, it was to the right. 
when we were going to, when we had the negative 4, it was 4 was to the left. When we have plus 4 on a vertical, it was 4 units above. And on counting down vertical, it was 4 units down. Okay. So, does the sum lie to the right or left? On the first model, four units right. And then above or below on the vertical number line, so right or above for the vertical. Second model, let's add some words there, some lies four units left that was when we had the negative four or down okay so we should have said on the first model some lies four units that's okay. Given the expression 54 plus 81, determine without finding the sum, the distance, okay, distance between 54 and the sum, and then explain. Okay? So the distance. 54 and the sum, so I would be going to the right, 54 from 0, and then I would be going to the right again, 81. So the distance will be 81 units from 54 to the right or above, depending on the number line that you have or you would be using. Okay, D, is the sum to the right? Whoop, I went ahead. <laughs> Is the sum to the right or left of 54 above or below? So we can just say take that. Right and then above. Given the expression 14 plus negative 3, determine without finding the sum the distance between 14 and the sum and explain. So we are going to the right, right 14 plus, we're going to the left 3. So The distance will be 3. And then it does say to explain. So we're calling this is our P value, this is our Q value. We talked about that when we said student outcomes. So the distance will be 3. When the Q, I'm trying to spell Q 
value is negative me sum will be to the left. Uh, is the sum to the right or the left? And so we said it is going to be to the left or down. Not down. We use the word below. Okay. Exercise two, work with a partner to create a horizontal number line to model or represent each of the following equations. And then what is this sum? Okay, so I'm going to do A with you just to make sure that you're doing all of them the same. Okay, so negative 5 plus 3. So we're going starting at 0, left 5, then starting from negative 5 and going to the right 3. which puts us at a negative 2. Okay, so negative 5 plus 3 equals a negative 2. And then the sum is 3 units to the right of negative 5. Okay, so yes, you're numbering it, you're finding the sum, but also this important information right here, the sum is 3 units to the right. Um, this, that is our main goal, but we're seeing the direction that the sum is in. So. Go ahead and pause the video and take about yeah, A, B, or B and C to do. So take about two minutes to do B and C. Okay, so let's check out B. We were going from 0, negative 6, and then negative 6. We had to go 2 to the left. So the sum is 2 units to the left of negative 2. And then C, you went to the right 7. Then you went to the left 8, which put us at a negative one and so the sum is eight units to the left of seven. Exercise 3, writing an equation using verbal descriptions. We are asked to uh, work in pairs on this one, so go ahead and take about three minutes to try this on your own. Pause the video. Okay. So write an equation using the number line. Create an arrow diagram given the following information. The sum of 6 and a number is 15 units to the left of 6 on the number line. Okay, so you should have had 6. It said the sum, so you have an addition sign. Uh, and it said 15 units to the left, and so therefore we are doing a negative 15 because it was going to the left, and that is what your number line should have looked like.